This is a brief video to explain how to create checklists within your Snapfix site. Checklists allow you to provide a list of actions that need to be taken in order for a task to be completed. All checklists must be housed within a task as they are linked to the primary task. For this example, we're going to be adding a checklist to the firewalk task that I've created. So as you can see, we're in the main task view and the task has already been created. In order to add my checklist, I'm going to need to select the options icon. You can identify the option icon as it's denoted with three vertical dots located next to the task name. So midway down the screen, we can see here we have our three vertical dots and once selected, a list of options are presented. At the very top of the list, we have the option to add a checklist. When I select this, we're brought to the checklist creation modal where we can see the option to add list items. When I select add list item, the checklist item creation modal is displayed. Here I can give my item a name and I can also enable additional properties depending on the needs. When giving your checklist item a name it should be something meaningful that your team will be able to identify in order to understand what needs to be done. So for this example we're working on a fire walk so I'm going to say fire exit in lobby as our first task as I want the person to check the fire exit in the lobby as part of this checklist. Now you'll notice there are additional fields available beneath the checklist name. We can choose to enable NFC check. This allows you to associate an NFC tag with a specific checklist item and your team can simply scan the tag in order to complete that item. So for the purpose of this example I'm going to say I want to enable this and by simply holding the tag up to my device the tag is successfully scanned. This means that users will be able to complete this checklist item by scanning the tag. You can add additional information here too, such as a pass, flag or fail scale. You can add notes and you can make the item mandatory if you wish. When you're happy with what you've configured, you can simply select done and your checklist item is added. You'll notice next to the checklist item name, there's a circle icon. This is our NFC tag icon and it allows you to know which items have NFC enabled and which don't. We're going to add a second item here just so that we can see the difference and we're going to say that this is the fire door in the lobby of your hotel. So once we've given the item a name this time we're going to choose the plus bang or fail scale and we're also going to make this field mandatory just so that we can see what these different properties look like when they've been added. I'm happy with what I've configured here and I'm going to select done. As you can see, because no F NFC tag was associated with this item, there is no circle icon, but we can see at the end of the list name, there's a red asterisk. This represents that the item is mandatory. Looking down further on the list, we can see that you can choose to require a signature when checklists are being completed. Um, and this is really helpful for anything that maybe needs a more specific audit trail. We can look down further and you can see where you can cancel the checklist which will remove the work you've input to the system or you can save it which means that your checklist will be added. Now we've added two checklist items for this particular example but there's no limit to the amount of items you can add. So depending on your own process you can add 10, 20, 30, however many items you need to reflect the process fully. I'm happy with what I've configured here so I'm going to select save. And as you can see, my checklist is now available. So if I return to the main view of the task by selecting the backup arrow, you can see there's now a blue bar banner containing view checklist. And we can see that 0% of that checklist has been completed. By simply scanning our NFC tag, we can now see 50% of the checklist is completed. So without needing to go into the full checklist, I can see that progress has been made. But if I want to dig in deeper and see what's been done on the checklist and what's outstanding to do, I can simply check that checklist line. As you can see, my first task was completed, which is fire exit and lobby. And there's also a text field if I want to add any notes. Our second option here is our fire door and lobby. And as you can see, my pass, flag or fail statuses are available. And I'm going to say that I need to flag this because there's a potential issue. When working on the checklist, then I can simply sign my checklist and submit and this will be added to the system. When we go back to the view we can see the checklist is 100% complete now and, the, and it's been signed off. 
So what we can do now is looking in the upper right hand corner, tap our red icon and move to green as our task has been completed. I hope this was helpful, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out anytime at support at snapfix.com and one of our agents will be happy to assist you. Thanks.